So let's have a look at uh, Poisson distribution. We talked about binomial. And now we see the connection between binomial and the Poisson. That the discrete random variable x denotes the number of times an event occurs in an interval of time or space. Okay? So the number of times an event occurs in an interval. The x may be modeled as the Poisson random variable with x equals to 0, 1, 2, right? So they are all integers. Okay, 0, 1, 2. So probability of x equals to exponential minus lambda lambda x x factorial for x equals to 0, 1, 2. Where what is the probability of x? The probability that x successes over a given period of time. Okay. And lambda is the expected number of successes per time or space unit. And E is actually the natural number, 2.718828. The mean and the variance of the Poisson distribution are lambda. So those is, those is, this is the definition. Uh, now let's have a look at an example. Suppose we're going to use Poisson distribution to model this. Birth in a hospital. So birth in a hospital occurs like uh, randomly at an average rate. Uh, of 1.8 births per hour. So what is the probability to observe four births in a given hour at the hospital? So let's use x to be the number of births per hour. Not per hour, in a given hour. Now the mean rate, what is the mean rate? Lambda equals to 1.8. So what's the probability x equals to 4? So using the equation that we had before, that is uh, lambda exponential, let's see, what is the equation? Exponential minus lambda, lambda x over x factorial. So this will equal to exponential minus 1.8. And then we have 1.8 power 4 divided by 4 factorial. And in this way, we will be able to get the probability. Now, this is a basic definition of Poisson distribution. I think you have learned this before. But let's refresh our mind about changing the intervals. Okay? So w what, about, what about the probability of observing more than or equals to two births in a given hour in the hospital? So for this one, it's actually x greater than or equals to 2. So this one will equal to probability x equals to 2 plus probability x equals to 3. And you have so many, more than, right? And it's very difficult to calculate. Then what do we do? Yes, the complementary. So 1 minus probability x less than 2. So this will equal to 1 minus probability x equals to 0 minus uh, probability x equals to 1. So in this way, you will be able to get the probability. Now, if we change the interval, what's going to happen? So previously, we have only per hour in a given hour, in a given hour. Now this is two hour. And uh, we were asked, what's the probability we observe five births in a given two hour? Yes, and uh, if this is called changing the time intervals. If we changing time intervals,
So this lambda, we, we will have two lambda. So now the, 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 new, the new random variable, what will be the new random variable? This will be y. y will be the number of births in a two-hour period. So this will be y is actually Poisson. So 1.8 by 2. Okay, because Poisson distribution is homogeneous, so you multiply by 2. So probability y equals to 5, then we are equals to exponential minus 3.6. So this is 1.8 by 2. So 5. Uh, 3.6 power 5 divided by 5 factorial. So this will be the new one. So why I'm giving this example, I just hope to remind you guys on this, changing the time intervals. The next one is, now suppose that we know in hospital A, births occur randomly at an average rate of 2.3 per hour. And hospital B at a 3.1 births per hour. This is the rate. So you have two. One is two hospitals. Now you have hospital A, hospital B. And this rate is 2.3 per hour. This rate is 3.1. So the question is, what is the probability that we observe seven births in total from the two hospitals in a given hour? What rate do we use? And this question, basically, I'm trying to remind you guys of what we have discussed before, but sum of two Poisson <coughs> variables. So if you sum them together, what's going to happen? Still a Poisson, Poisson distribution. So in this case, if you have uh, x, that is Poisson, lambda 1, and y is Poisson, lambda 2. Then what happens is if you plus x, y together, this is Poisson, lambda 1 plus lambda 2. And then in this case, it will become lambda 1 plus lambda 2 is 5.4. So what's the probability that we're going to observe x plus y equals to 7? This will equals to exponential minus 5.4 and 5.47 divided by 7 factorial. So this will be the the probability observe a total of seven births from two hospitals. Okay. Now I hope this example refresh your mind about changing the time intervals and also the adding the Poisson together and how to use it really. <coughs>